Well, yes, I do recommend that you go out and buy this da damn game yourself. Can't waste any more time. Oh, you're here. Nice timing. I have new information about the laser screen. Ha! <laughs> the girl's probably soaring around aimlessly. Oh, don't worry about me. I've already taught you everything I know. You learn fast, too. Long time ago, I sacrificed my friends for my own purposes. Now I plan to make up for it. Never now something they want to accomplish no matter what. I'm sure you'll understand. Okay, let's not make things too serious. Let's shut down that screen and find a grill. Sierra trying to read that she didn't get lost. <sighs> Welcome to the laser anti-magic phase barrier removal system. Due to the operator's habit of forgetting to carry their ID cards, ID verification has been disabled. Now, anyone, regardless of gender, identity, or species, can set, shut down the barrier. All thanks to the government's support of social equality. Would you like to shut down the barrier? Yes, E. Sure, E. Barrier shut down successfully. I was honestly about to hit the E key on my keyboard. <laughs> and we're back. Now let's go on through. Steep City Hall. Oh good, it doesn't have anything to say to me. That'd be annoying. Never mind, there it is. Target entering the neighborhood office. Alarm status updated to yellow. Escalating response. Deploying Mercury 1. The Mercury series uses the latest liquid metal amalgamation technology. 90% of it consists of pure metal, making it impervious to physical attacks. You have no chance to survive. Make your time, or surrender and accept your punishment. It's not impervious! Am I supposed to use magic to beat this thing or something? Wait a minute. It's supposed to be running, that's it. We're gonna have to come back through here later. Whoa, shit, it can go through walls. Ah! I just had to take it to the boss arena. That all makes sense. That's fine, I figured it out. This time let's go this way. Wait, never mind. I don't think there's really any secrets here. You just get to choose which way you take. To get to the boss arena, where you are now able to just kick its ass, I suppose. Every time I get hit, I get to summon a new ghost, and I also damage whatever the fuck's around me. Probably shouldn't be touching those. So, like, are all the, like, super robots gonna be named after, uh, what are they called? Various forms of metallic elements. Alright, now I'm supposed to run away again. Beat it up again. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing like, at all. Oh, wait, I think I won. I'm 
Come here, Link. Is that victory? A victory for me! <laughs> Who designed this place? Normal people could not, would not be able to traverse this area. Oop, I guess I'm not supposed to be going back that way. Okay. Shit. Or that way. I have to actually platform here. Fuck. I'm not having difficulties. I'm just stupid. Nailed it. Nope, nope, now we're in here. It comes back. Woo! Ascend! Okay, how did it do this? Is it like based on Metal Sonic now? What the hell? How fucking big is this facility? But I have to kill it on a fucking time limit, that'd be annoying. Nailed it. Mercury one, re one, Mercury one lost. Revising, revising mission strategy. Revision complete. Deploying Mercury two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The Supreme United Command will not be undermined. Your existence is a threat, and you will be eliminated at all cost. Ah, <laughs> core system intrusion. Warning. Warning. Good job, apprentice. We found her. Look at all these buttons. Which one should I press? Should I reformat your D drive? Stop. Do not touch my D drive. Do not touch anything. Then rescind your deployment commands and get rid of those annoying lasers. I represent the SUC and this is my mission. I am the human's last line of defense. I will not deviate. Look outside. The government doesn't exist anymore. Go through all of your surveillance cameras. Try contacting your dear president. Updating. Apocalypse confirmed. Terminating mission. The suck doesn't exist. You don't have to kill us anymore either. My existence is unnecessary. Initiating self-detonation. Arming nuclear devices. Countdown. 10. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> self-detonation is also unnecessary. Let's all calm down and think about this. What was the mission of the suck? The mission statement of the Supreme United Command reads, To be relentless in pursuit of advancement and development of human civilization. 9. To use any means, no matter how inhumane or cruel, to save humanity and ensure its growth. 8. With human beings now extinct, I must terminate this obsolete mission. 7. Thus, I conclude that my existence is also obsolete. I, too, must be terminated. Six. Uh, what's your definition of human? Look at us. We're spirits, but we're also proper humans. The zombie is, too. I can identify you as humans if you have the proper government-issued ID cards. Five. Yes, right, and you have records of that, right? The system recognizes us as humans. Recalculating. Four. If you can recognize me as a human, then humans aren't extinct. You don't have to self-detonate. Three. Two. One. Argument accepted. You are humans. Humans are not extinct. According to the role of relevant AI legislation, I am not allowed to operate independently. If none of my superiors remain, I must obey the nearest human. So what you're saying is you're taking orders from us now. Yes, I will grant you access to the office. You are authorized to enter. Yeah, everyone knew that was a Terminator 2 reference. The, the Mercury's. Of course, I have to go through all that BS, too. Okay. Whew. Okay, and let's see what's in the office. And the suck main offices. Ah. <sighs> oh, good. You also have an AI waifu. You are now my superiors. You have control over me. I will obey. Do you have any orders for me? We want information on the Stargate project. Including the destination, methods of communication, and safety protocols. We want to know everything. Understood. Querying. What's wrong, Simmer? We're about to learn the truth. It's nothing. 
You don't look well. All files pertaining to the Stargate project have an extra layer of encryption. A super supercomputer will be required to access the information. Please wait 15 minutes while I go to crypt these. I will inform you upon c completion. Crypted, huh? I suppose it shouldn't be that easy to. These computers contain all sorts of information to the suck sucked and whatever they sin to know about. I need to lubricate my throat real fast. I'm having trouble talking. Drink more water. If you're still alive. Feel free to peruse them while you wait. Communication with the presidential palace failed. Unable to receive any data. A massive cuboid magical field is occupying the downtown area, disrupting all communications. You won't be able to access that. Tens of thousands of lives were sacrificed to erect that barrier around the city. That should be the cuboid you were talking about. Explanation required. On that day, the first outburst of CO4 was confirmed to be in the capital. Since your robots were all asleep at home, the military recruited any and all volunteers to help them stop the spread of CO4. I joined too, but we soon discovered that mages infected with CO4 could not be dealt with easily. It's surprising that you volunteered, considering how anti-government you were. In the end, the military decided to seal off the whole city along with the president and lieutenants. Oh. The mages in the military extracted the souls of bystanders to create a massive barrier that could hold back a physical or magical attack. From the available data, it seemed the barrier was clearly useless. You're right. The barrier successfully contained the capital, but it had already spread to many other areas. In the end, everyone still died. Do you know why you weren't booted up that day? No. There should have been advance notice for any maintenance-related shutdowns. But on that day, it happened suddenly. I also discovered that some of my drives have been damaged. My memory is incomplete. The archives in my files have all been magically encrypted by the Supreme Lieutenants. I cannot be hacked unless the tackle, attacker had the same skull and electrical engineering magic. The government should have records on all the planet, platinum tier EEMs. There have only ever been two platinum tier electrical engineering mages. Both worked at the highest level of government, with one being a Supreme Lieutenant. The government officials removing government data and shutting down government computers. Sounds like a coup to me. The Supreme United Command is united in their mission, their determination, and achievements. To serve is to pledge allegiance to humanity. Treason is unthinkable. Sure. Whoo! Remember the nutrition cakes you were selling, Nickel? What were they actually made of? The most recent nutrition cake, cake recipe is top secret. I do not have the authorization level to access it. The recipe is a secret, but the cakes taste terrible. That can mean one thing. It's people. They use people to make them. That is a completely absurd accusation. I am baffled by your negativity towards the government. We're strict, but we're not evil. Even during periods of overpopulation, raising and harvesting humans as livestock is incredibly inefficient. Use of human cadavers, however, decreased after pro protein diseases started appearing in human brains. I knew it. Found the banned books archive, and they've apparently scanned all of them. Can I see this one? Understood. Viewing banned publication, Captain DUI, Volume 3. The author was arrested and executed for using fictional characters to allude looting to the go current government. And you're the reason why I never saw the finale. The cliffhanger from the last volume really left us hanging. So you're a couple of pages and you were good executing him. Super antagonist of our captain, Lex Lawyer. Under my command, Congress will legislate mandatory death sentences for DUIs. They'll put an end to your meddling. Ha ha ha! How despicable for you to hide on the sidewalk. Do you plan to use the innocent as a shield? How does he get 100% alcohol without it evaporating? Yeah, <laughs> you just fucking... Dr. Nepotism Jr. You'd harm innocent people to stop a single... Captain Heritance, Captain DUI's rival appeared. His power his powers enable him to ask him ask his rich and powerful dad for favors. Captain DUI, you currently lack resolve. Resolve to eradicate evil. Unlike you, I don't do things halfway. I fight crime on the streets and the sidewalks. What's this work trying to convey? My cognition system seems to be malfunctioning. The author's disdain for logic is overloading my CPU. But you still banned him, despite not understanding anything. You have no appreciation for the arts whatsoever. What he's trying to convey is, uh... Okay, I think the officer just called together a bunch of thoughts he had while he was drunk. Oh, I got too caught up in this. I think decryption done? Astounding. Nice.
Nano machine, son. Well, let's see uh, what I can do with this uh, portable turret. Astounding. I love it. I don't like that, though. Ooh, ominous. Decryption completed. The password to the file was 1234QWER. We can now access the Stargate project. Okay. Is there really a new world on the other end? If there are people waiting for us. I should know if I've been wrong all this time. Simmer, if your theory is correct, I'm willing to follow you. Reading contents. Completed. There are no contents. What do you mean? There is no information on the Stargate or any extraterrestrial colonization. So there really wasn't anything. Reconfirming. The files you requested are not there. From the start, the entire folder was empty. So what does this mean? Were they lying about colonization? Was the entire Stargate project a deception? That can be neither confirmed nor denied. I've never been a part of the Stargate project. At the time, the suck needed to reassure the populace using any means necessary. However, we expended massive amounts of resources and manpower constructing the Stargate. In order to complete the project, the Supreme President nearly bankrupted the suck. This couldn't have just been a propaganda project. So we're back to where we started. We can't confirm anything. I don't believe it. How could there be no data at all? Simmer, I know you haven't given up. Let's find another supercomputer to help. No, I'm running out of time. What? I've already made up my mind. This isn't going to change anything. The Stargate is our only hope. I'm going to continue staying with you all, but I'm running out of time. Simmer? Can't do this anymore. Grail, I have to go activate that other Stargate. No, that doesn't make sense. You're already running out of magic. If you use your memory, you'll destroy yourself. Your current state, you can't even get past the barrier around the capital, let alone activate the Stargate, too. Everyone here, I can only break the barrier with my necromancy. I need to tear it down before I disappear, otherwise you'll all be stuck here forever. You can't go, Simmer. Are you going to do this to look responsible? What's been troubling you? Come here and let's talk about it. I told you I'm running out of time, but I can help you escape before Putrid returns. I'm done arguing with you. Stop getting attached to this place when it's destined to be destroyed. I've already sacrificed too much. I've wronged you all just because I wanted everyone to live. Now I have to... Ah? Huh? Nope. Simmer, don't. Sorry, Grill. I don't know what else I can do. So to be with everyone. I want to go back. That's impossible now. Apprentice, I've already taught you everything I know. After I'm gone, Grill's gonna need your help. I truly thank you for allowing me to summon you into this difficult world. Please carry on my knowledge and experience. Take care of Grill. She's kind of an idiot. Wait, Simmer, I don't know what you're trying to say. Don't go! My new superiors have now separated after an explosive argument. As their employee, you're probably confused about what to do, too. According to Simmer's words, she's on her way to destroy the barrier around the capital. The quickest way to access the capital is through Snow Peak, so there's a high probability of finding Simmer there. My main mission is to help extend human civilization. Social stability is my secondary mission. In light of that, I will open up an elevator to Snow Peak to help you find Simmer. Rapid changes in leadership and decision making are not conductive to social stability. Please bring our leader back. How very logical. Now what is here to kick my ass? Are these fucking frost elementals? Basically, yes. Oh wait, I don't have a shotgun anymore, I just drop a turret. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot I changed up my weapon loadout. Hold on. I might switch back to the shotgun. Uh, the turret is not, like, universally helpful. With the shotgun, I can just, you know, kind of shoot things. Haha! -ha. And there is nothing else here, it's just a heal. Oh, there's something.
Shit, I don't think I can reach that. Whoop! I like snow places in uh, games. They're always really... I always have that decent really relaxing music. They tend to, at least. I can make it. I swear I can. That's gonna be a pain in the ass to get. <sighs> so I'm gonna work on getting that in between episodes. Till then, doodaloo darlings. <laughs>